Hi everyone, it's Kenneth from VS Code. Today I'm here to show you how you get started. The first thing we're going to do is to download VS Code by going to code.visualstudio.com. I'm here on my Mac, so I'm going to download the Mac version, but you can grab the Windows and Linux versions too. If you want to be on the bleeding edge, you can also download the Insiders Edition that gives you the newest bits every day, but be aware that things sometimes might be a bit unstable. Anyhow, the next thing here is to open VS Code, so let me do that. Once you have VS Code open, you're welcomed by our welcome screen. From here, you can open a folder or create a new file. As you open folders, you'll be seeing this list growing with shortcuts. But let's get started with an interface overview. Over here to the left, we have the File Explorer, we have Search, and we have Source Control Management. Here we have debugging and our marketplace where you can find extensions for almost everything. And down here at the bottom, we have our settings and at the very bottom of the window, you find the status bar where you can see errors and warnings. In the center here, we have our command palette, which is the control center for most of the action here in VS Code. And down here to the right, we have notifications. Now that you had an overview of the interface, the next step is customization. And what's more important than languages? VS Code is born with JavaScript support, but you can click here to install support for other languages, such as c Python, and Go. We know that most of you have been using another editor before VS Code, so we made it simple to use similar key bindings from other editors. If you click here, you'll be taken to the marketplace, where you find the most popular key bindings, and they're going to make you feel right at home. The last thing to customize is your theme. Some would say it's the most important thing, so we made it simple to change your theme. Click here to see a list of the installed themes, and notice when you change your selection, we will show you a preview of how it looks. It's pretty neat. If you're looking for some more exotic themes, you can find them in our marketplace. The last thing I want to show you is our interactive playground, where you can get to know some of the cool features we have in VS Code. Click here to open the interactive playground and start exploring. There's a lot of cool stuff, such as multi-cursor editing, IntelliSense, refactoring, formatting, and much more. That's all for now. Happy coding!